Hey everyone, so today we decided to invite you back into our homes as we decorate our Christmas tree. <laughs> as you can see here, the before version. And so me and Riley are going to talk a lot about our Christmas memories, our favorite Christmases, some of our favorite things to do around this time of year. This is, without a doubt, my favorite time of year. It is. He turned into a big kid at this time of year. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to get to see us talk about all of that. And I hope that it's a bit of festive fun during this uh, crazy year. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm excited. Let's do this. <laughs> So decorating the Christmas tree together became a thing that we started to do probably about just a couple of years ago when we moved to LA. It was the first time that we'd felt settled enough. Yeah. And it's the first time we felt like we had enough space to actually have a tree because when we lived in New York, we didn't have a lot of space. We thought, let's, let's go and make this happen. And so we started doing it. We realized we absolutely loved putting up our tree and decorating it. And it was a fun activity to do together. I don't think and I did a good job at this. I think you've done a really good job, actually. I think you've done a really, really good job. Wait, let's let's uh, let's have a little competition as to who can untangle. No, I've already untangled that one. Oh, you all right? Okay. So no, no competition there. Really. No, I think. Um... No, look, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas. Um is family gatherings and everybody just being together. Um, when I was younger, we used to have the most epic Christmases where we'd go to my dad's side of the family and we would have everyone there. Like everyone would be in this one house. We'd all have sleepovers, all the cousins would sleep together in the like main living room. Um, and we'd have like a yeah sleepover party. We'd eat lots of good food. And then the next day we'd spend it with my mum's side of the family where we would all get together, eat more food. My favorite thing was getting good gifts. It was getting presents. This was like the one time in the year that I knew that my, my mom would like surprise me and she'd always get me that one thing that I'd been wanting all year. And it was, yeah, something that I looked forward to a lot as a kid. And I remember we'd sit in this uh, small room with all of our family and then everyone would have to unwrap their gifts and then everyone yeah. go around in circles and yeah, we'd unwrap that. a gift. And Christmas for me is a month, right? It's not a day, it's a month. Right, Radhi? Yeah, he starts playing the Christmas music. I wait till Thanksgiving's over now. And then the December 1st, Christmas music. In the car. Christmas music in the car. Christmas, you can't play any other songs during Christmas, right? It has to be. And, and I'm a big believer, so I end up believer. playing a lot of the Justin Bieber albums. I love the, who is that I was listening to last year a lot? I'm not sure, Believers. Oh, Michael Bublé. Michael, oh, Bublé. Michael Bublé's album is epic. So those, and then Riley puts on some Destiny's Child. Yeah, gotta get some Mariah Destiny's Carey, Child. that's that's more Riley's You're vibe. You're doing very good around oh, your no, side. Well, I'm keeping, I'm, I'm like talking to everyone. To be quite honest. My sister and my mom would always do the lights. So I'm relying on Riley over here. And then I would get really involved when it gets to all of the other decor. That's good, that's good, there we go, there we go. I know exactly what's going on. I'm not sure. Let go, let go. I'm not sure. So it's really important in relationships to understand when you should lead and when you should follow. Yeah, it's time for you to just follow. <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay. Now it's the fun part. I don't think we'll need this second one. The way I like to do it is separating like all the baubles out into their own little sections. Last year I painted these white. We got these and they were wood. And they say hope, peace, and there's another one. Hope, peace, and love. love. So I thought these were really cute. <laughs> we haven't got enough food related things on here. <laughs> Trust you to have to talk about food. I know. <laughs> it's going really well. Don't you wish you could just do like, and it all goes on? Yeah. 
No. We're like just throw. I think this is the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Let's do green ones now. Well, we've only done half the red. Oh, so you need to finish all I the mean, red. I mean, you kind of have to go all the way up. What is this amateur Christmas tree making? Complete one thing at a time, as it says in Think Like a Monk book. When, when did you even read it? I haven't, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel that's something Jay Shetty would say. Guys, just in case you were wondering, my wife does not read my book. I do. Or watch I've my read video. Like a t or listen to my chapters. podcast. Or anything. I do, actually. But I'll tell you that she lives it with me. <laughs> nice, Dave. Nice, Dave. You know what? Now I'm just going all in. No structure. No. Let's just Don't get do that. Right Don't do there. that. Don't do that, please. Let's just do it. Please don't do that. Let's just see what life takes us. Okay, please don't actually do that. Have a holly, jolly Christmas. I don't know what's going on around there, to be honest. There's I too really many circles next to each other. Well, why are you not... You know what? Less, less criticism and more solutions. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with all the composition right now? It's really good. Look, let's, let's zoom in again. What is going on over here? Can you just take, can you just zoom in on that? I'm please? pretty sure look. everyone likes that. What is, what's going on with this that's situation? Like, that's like, you have to look for faith. No, like, <laughs> those are going to break. What, it's like, what is going on in this situation over here? I think it's just being negative, really. <laughs> Bit of negative Nancy going on. I don't think anyone says that in this country. <laughs> so basically, this tree is going to look completely different tomorrow morning. Because... <laughs> Someone's going to stay up tonight and change it all. Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely I'm, I'm not. Right. Me. I'm all right. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> that makes me very satisfied. Going to bed very happy with this. I think this needs to be this. Can you take that green one off? Because I think we've just got too many ornaments. I take that one off. Too much on. I like a busier tree. Yeah. How's it looking? I think it looks good. Actually, what no, now it's looking a bit bare. That's what I'm telling you. We're we getting, need to put way need, more. That's what, that's what I just told you. I think we just, I literally I, I really, just said that. I really don't okay. know. Okay, so Ravi now goes, oh, it's too bare, we need to put loads on. What did I just say? I really don't I think... want you to actually rewind back to what I just said. What are you doing? <laughs> because I think we've just got too many ornaments. Take that one too off. too much on. I like a busier tree. Like what literally you know? 30 seconds. Yeah. I really don't think it was a good idea to take ornaments off. Yeah, that, I just said that like 30 seconds ago. That. Yeah. I got you, I got you. Okay. <laughs> no, it goes on top, ready. Oh, it's clips. Oh, nicely done. Nice. Ta-da! Yeah, really good, right? Shall I help you come down? I'm good. Okay. Oi, thank you. Ready? Yeah. A three, a two, a one. Okay, so we did it. Here it goes. Uh, really proud of what we did. It, it was fun. It was fun doing it. Was it. And fun. The main reason we did this this year and to share this with you was just, we know it's been a really, really difficult year for everyone. We know it's been a tough year and we hope that you take some time out at this time of year to celebrate, to be with those you love. And if you can't be with them physically, then to send them loads of love and to think about them. And one of my favorite things actually around Christmas that I save to share right now is seeing how we can serve others and how we can support those in need who don't get to celebrate, who don't have the same access that all of us do in whatever way that may be. And so being able to extend ourselves in service with time, with energy, with resources, with money, whatever it may be that we can do to make someone else have a really special experience this time of year it goes a long long way so I hope you feel inspired to serve in some way during this time I don't know if you want to add anything no to I, I well. completely agree I was thinking about this that you know some people are going to be lucky enough to go back and see their families or to be with them but there are a lot of people who are going to be really lonely during this time and so I was actually just gonna yeah I was thinking about this today like how can we support anybody else or um, 
yes, yeah, support someone else or reach out to somebody that we know is going to be uh, maybe alone during this time and think about ways that we can do that. Yeah, exactly. So we hope you all have an amazing festive season, amazing start to the new year. However you're celebrating, make sure that there is a moment where you take a time to reflect on the fact that you got through this year, you made it through, and that's an incredible, incredible achievement in and of itself that you pushed through, you got through the struggles, you helped others along the way, and so that you can start next year feeling like, it wasn't like this year was uh, just a challenge, but it was something that you overcame. Mm. Oh, I also was going to say that mm. with the how to serve other people, there are so many charities, whether it's in London or in the US, I'm sure all over the world, where you can donate to either make boxes that are given out to people, whether it's the homeless, um, and or you can create your own and go and give them out to people. So there are lots of little things you can do, but I'm sure that it would make someone's day, someone's Christmas, just by you making that small effort. I definitely think I'm going to be doing that. So. Yeah, to share that. I love that. I yeah. can't wait to do that. Yeah, I think it'll be awesome. wonderful. Thanks everyone for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy it again. Happy Christmas! See you in 2021.